Okay, had to dig this up a little bit. There was a kink down here at the bottom on this line here. And that is the one that carries the wire into this room here. So we got a uh, got a wire in here, and what needs to happen is uh, I actually need to dig this here and secure it to the wall so that up here I can put a circuit breaker box, and uh, that will. Uh, handle the electricity for this side uh, it'll take the light for that room over there this room plus the plugs that I will install in both rooms uh, yeah so I could have just run it up through the through the um, uh, roof there to the ceiling I could have run the wire through the C3 this character here wants to help but thanks but no thanks Oi! what are you doing huh I don't need any help digging and uh, moving the sand around thank you Yeah, so uh, this room here is done. I'm still adding, uh, I'm still uh, soaking this down to make sure that it's 100% compressed uh, or compacted. Hey, 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 what are you doing? No digging. Hey, you, yo, Jay. No telling what he's smelling. Anyway, so I'll just wet it every now and then, make sure that it's um, compacted down. And uh, then it's just a matter of putting some concrete in here. And this room here will not have uh, a drain or anything like that. It'll just be a level floor. In this room here, uh, I've actually broken down all the uh, big clumps and stuff. And you can see that center still has a lot of uh, moisture there. But this room has been soaked uh, twice. So I will continue to soak this and get it to the level more or less that I want. And then the same thing will happen is put some sand in there. So the remainder of this sand will go in there. Uh, and when this goes out, I've got uh, two, mar two more uh, truckloads that, uh, that we bought. So we'll use this one and that one there. The one that's over there in the back, uh, we'll save that uh, for mixing concrete or mortar or whatever. Okay. Okay, so the leveling, the leveling of these rooms continue. This is the, what will be the feed room. And right now, it is the OG's nap room. I wet this every day, so he comes and digs around here and lays in the wet sand and, you know, really enjoys it. And then what I'm doing is, as I am le leveling the floors, 
whatever excess uh, dirt, clumps, mostly clumps, uh, I run into in those rooms, I bring it out here because I will bring this level up here to this line that you see there and uh, all of this has to come up. So on this side you have the two chicken coop rooms and what will happen is on this side the wall will, or the wall, on this side the floor will angle in this direction and here I will put a little not quite so uh, big but it'll be angled from here down that way and go outside of the chicken coop so when I take and I pressure wash this it'll run this way and out that way and then this is the other half here this one here I just finished uh, a couple of days ago and I'm still watering this thing heavily and then as it settles you know you have you have clumps like that you have clumps like that that really don't have a place that were just uh, sticking up out of the ground too far so I will remove those and of course they will go out here now today I started on this room over here which will be for the rabbits now this is going to be the hardest room of all because as you can see it is a lot of dirt but it is it has some pretty good size dirt clumps I already started breaking these there's the sledgehammer and here's a jackhammer but as you can see those are some really good size clumps here so what I've got to do and I already did I started here and I will level this out in this direction and as I'm coming I'm breaking filling in places like this and when I get towards the back whatever I deem to be excess will go out the door now if I don't have enough if I don't have enough dirt and I need more one of the benefits of digging that uh, fish house holding tanks is that we have a little pile of dirt right there so what will happen is this here and this here is kind of a uh, it came out of a a pond kind of like sediment uh, sand dirt uh, type of thing uh, it's not actually it's kind of like an unwashed sand but it has dirt in it and uh, this I will put in here cover up this to clear the way to get some of that dirt in here but the one thing that needs to happen is I need to cover this and right on the other side of the sand I actually need to dig that conduit because it ended up in the wrong place that conduit actually needs to be right here 
to go across to that fish house to provide power there. So, well, I will continue pounding away. Once I level that floor there, uh, then the only thing that needs to happen is I need to water those rooms daily so that everything settles, it gets compressed, all the little gaps that are in between the clumps and stuff, they fill in the clumps that are there will soften up and collapse and uh, yeah so when the cement goes on there that floor is totally compressed and ready to go uh, a lot of people might wonder why I didn't get chickens and just put them in there with dirt floors well if you get in a hurry there's that saying that says haste makes waste and by having those chickens I have to hurry up and get some feed in here and that I want in concrete so I can put some shelves so I can get a stockpile of feed etc etc and if I'm in a hurry, then I have to buy at whatever price uh, I find the feed. I can't shop around. I can't, nothing. I, ha I need it now. So I don't want to do that. I want to get everything ready, stockpile this, build the cages in here, build the uh, the uh, boxes for the chickens to lay eggs and the you know put up the roost and all that stuff I want to have all that ready so that when they when the chickens arrive I'm not scrambling to make some kind of you know makeshift thing and then I'm just chasing my tail trying to catch up because everything's here and it's needed now. So I don't want to do that. So be ready. And then after that, it's just a matter of uh, feeding them and invite them to dinner and that sort of thing. Okay, let me continue with this uh, room here. And we'll see what happens. All right. Okay, so after a lot of pounding, I got this whole thing down to this corner. It's uh, about uh, 5.15 or so in the afternoon. And it's still pretty hot. But as you can see, this area here is gonna need some additional dirt. Here, you can see a little dip there. Uh, some of this dirt will get moved in this direction, but it's still going to be short. So, when I put the sand in here, I will uh, be able to level this thing out. Now, I think what I'm going to do different on this room that I did on the other ones is I'm going to soak this thing down, I think. Uh, before I put the sand on here uh, maybe soften these clumps up some kind of walk on them or something and see if I can flatten them out uh, and maybe get some of this loose dirt down into the empty spaces and it'll be easier to put the sand on here but I will find out and we will see all right let me get this done and uh, call it a day because it is getting late and it is still hot. All right, see ya. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye bye.